So in number one, here we want to look at the nature of how consumers make decisions. So um, I'm going to title this the elements of our choices. I don't really know what else to, to call this. Um, by this I mean that Essentially, let, let's state the problem this way. We all have a goal, at least we're assuming, economists are assuming, that we all have a goal that we are trying to maximize our happiness. That's our goal. But we face limits that limit being limited income. And so what this then means um, for understanding number one here is that there are three things that we basically are continually thinking about when we're trying to make a choice between two different products. So if we have two different products, they can be related or not, that doesn't matter, it's just that we have two different products. Each has a different price. Each delivers different levels of happiness. So then what we're trying to do is choose between those two different goods. How many of those different goods should we have? So. What we do is we mathematize or quantify happiness. And it's quantified or turned into a number through a notion of utility. So when you see that word utility, that's what economists use to understand um, what um, happiness is. Then, our income, right, that would just be the dollars that you're earning, right? Um, how, much in, how much total money do you have coming in? Prices. Each product has a price. which then essentially means that we can restate the goal. The goal is to maximize total utility while not exceeding income. And so what we do in this chapter with this understanding is is the question of how much of each product how much of each product can we afford while not exceeding our income? Said another way, what is our optimal mix of the two products? That's what we're going to be under, uh, trying to better understand in numbers uh, two through seven now for this chapter.